Hi drummers, hope you're well. This is going to be a video about opening and closing your hi-hat within your drum grooves and developing those skills. When you hear a drummer playing... That lovely pea soup, open, close, hi-hat sound. People always ask me in these videos, like, what grade level is this particular thing all about? This comes in at grade two in a big way. So this would be the perfect drill to do for the, a drummer at that level, or drummers at all levels, really, who are interested in developing that uh, open, close sound. Now, quick word about the setup of the hi-hat. What I really like to do is have my hi-hats not too far apart at, the, uh, at, the, at my side, but on the far side, I really like to have them touching, or just about touching. And the way you do that is the little screw underneath your hi-hat, that funny little screw, that is there, can you see that? Now a lot of people don't know what that does. I didn't know what that did for years, honestly. What it does is it angles the, the bottom uh, cymbal. So what, you can tilt it and have the back uh, sort of touching each other and the front a little distance apart. I love to do that because then when you do open it, you get that lovely sizzly type of sound. So I really recommend setting your, your hi-hats like that. Now here's the drill. We're gonna play a basic straight eights groove, as in kick, snare, All the way, it's not about the kick and the snare today, it's going to be about opening and closing that hi-hat and eighth notes on the hi-hat. And what we're going to do is do an open hi-hat sound on each eighth note in the bar in turn. So if we did it on beat one, it would go one. And the rule is we, generally speaking, we close the hi-hat on the next eighth note. So you go one and two and three and four. And. In other words, your left foot, if you're right-handed, goes up on the on the note that you want to open one and the left foot comes down on the and one and two and three and four and we're then going to do it on the and of beat one as in the open hi hat on and one and so on we're going to work our way through the bar this is a play along video play along with me i'm going to do it at three speeds I like slow medium and fast for the grade two drummer so 60 80 and 100 beats per minute. Here we go, at 60. When we get to the end, just for fun, we're actually gonna play a disco type of groove as well, which is where the hi-hat opens and closes on every and. That'll be the final one. Right, here we go, at 60 BPM. I reckon just play the groove just, play the groove just a little bit first, here we go. It's gonna feel slow, man. And one. So, just a close hi-hat a couple of times. Okay, open on the one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. We'll do four bars of each one then. Okay, on the end of that one.
at 60 BPM, I reckon that's a good place to start when you, when you want to get a tempo going. There might well be for the grade two drummer or drummer just getting going with this. It's totally cool if so. A little period of actually just working each one out a little bit as well, just getting the logistics of your foot going up and down and the combination of your right and left, all that kind of stuff. Just letting, like I always say on this channel, man, I always say in these lessons here as well, let your hands and your feet see the thing they're gonna do a little bit first. It doesn't even really need to be at tempo at first, just, just the right notes in the right order. It might be a period of that, but I reckon that 60 beats per minute for the sort of grade two drummer or drummer starting off with this sort of skill, that's a great kind of tempo to hit when you first wanna get it going with a beat, man. Okay, we're gonna move up now. I'm assuming that's gone smoothly, and when you're playing along, I'm gonna go up to 80 beats per minute. So here we go, exactly the same. We'll just play the groove a little bit first, establish the time on a closed hi hat. Okay, open on the one. 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 And three and four and one. Okay, on the and. One and two. and we're up to the sort of speeds that you might actually be playing in a grade two type of tune. Uh, one other thing I want to say about technique here is, people always ask me this, I use the heel down uh, technique for this sort of playing on the hi-hat most of the time, and not all the time, but most of the time. I always feel like if you've got your heel up and you're kind of bouncing on it like you would do for a bass drum, I'd use that if I was playing like a line of notes with, with the pedal, right, if I was playing. as a kind of little, you know, percussion part that would accompany it, something else I was playing, I would do that like that. But when I want to control the open and close sound of the hi-hat, I feel like if you do it with heel up, the problem is it becomes a switch. So it's either totally closed with your foot down, or if your leg comes up, totally open. And what's really nice here is to be able to control the sound. If you play heel down here and just control the opening by lifting up your toes, I feel you there have the full range of expression available from the hi-hat. It's not for all seasons, there are times, especially when you're going super quick, heel up is, I think, cool. And if you, maybe if you want there to be only two sounds, like totally close, totally open, fine. But I really like that sizzle, I like to be able to control that sound. You can often get a great sound by just opening it like a really small amount of the way. So I like to do heel down on it, just a little point there. Okay, that was 80 beats per minute, this is 100. 100 beats per minute, here we go, man, two, three, four. Closed high hat for a bit. Alright, open on beat one.
clearly you can play on faster than that and that's fine. But for guys starting off with this, I think that's a nice little aim to get the grooves happening, which might well mean, and is totally fine if it means uh, go slow, don't play them at tempo, just work out the coordination first. Uh, then to 60, then to 80, and if you can hit 100, then I'd say you're kind of set for the things you'll need to do at grade two. Uh, as Miss You from Rock and Pop Trinity grade two, I think of in particular that has some of those skills that you really need to pull out. But it's just a great skill to start doing. The final thing to think about, I always think, is well, these are kind of drills, they're exercises, aren't they? They're not necessarily grooves in their own right, they might be, but what we're doing here is we're drilling the physical capacity to actually open your hi-hat in each of the positions, right? I've probably said this a thousand times already on videos. Hopefully you've watched a few of these videos if you've heard this before. Head, heart, and hands. They're the three things you need, in my opinion, to be a musician. You need those three things working. Your head is your music theory, your, uh, you know, your knowledge, note values, time signatures, all that good stuff. Uh, your heart is your groove and your feel, and the emotional stuff in music. We never need to be far from that. But then thirdly, your hands, right? By which I mean your physical skills. Great musicians have almost, almost all, well, have always developed the physical capacity to make the moves they need to make and play the things they need to do to, to make the music sound good. Now we're not quite using hands, we're using feet as well, aren't we? But what I mean is physical skills, right? So this is, they're kind of drills. So the really important thing is then to make some grooves and you really just have a jam, man. When you finish this little session, you could just have a little play. <laughs> Try opening and closing the hi-hats in different places, and especially as you repeat a few times, you get to know these skills. You can then start to use them in an expressive and uh, musical fashion. So it's learn, it's like, learn the first things first. Learn the skills, right? L truly learn to play the drums, and then, you know, exp and when, armed with those skills, then experiment, try some different uh, stuff with it. That's a really cool core skill for grade two. It's often a skill that drummers who are kind of further down the line, on the face of it, haven't really fully embraced. So I really recommend that you give that one a, a go, man. 60, 80, 100 beats per minute. Hope that's all cool. Thanks for watching. Any questions, give us a shout. As usual, please like, share, and subscribe. Massively appreciate everyone doing that. Uh, please uh, go to my Amazon shop. I've got a great Amazon, little Amazon shop, amazon.co.uk slash shop slash Mike Barnes Drums. Brilliant way to support this channel if you want to do that. Uh, it's all the drum stuff that I use and recommend. Books, cymbals, drum heads, drumsticks, stick tape, all that, headphones, all that stuff. And it doesn't cost you any more to buy than Amazon does anyway. And a little tiny bit of the profit comes to this channel and keeps it going. Uh, talking of which, thank you to all the legends who bought me a coffee and continue to buy me coffees on Buy Me A Coffee. Massively appreciate that. I definitely need coffees to keep these videos going each day. All keeps it ticking along. Thanks a million. Any questions about open hi-hat or anything else, give us a shout and see you soon.